Good morning guys, good morning. It is, what time is it? It is 2.31 Central, 3.31 Eastern time. It's early, it's dark, and we're getting ready to roll. Well, come on, Panda, jump up here, come on. <laughs> They're bushy-eyed and ready to go themselves. You guys ready to go? It's uh, kinda, well, the parking lot is icy. Getting out, walking around the truck, I had to kinda hang on, or I was gonna fall on my tuff. So, kinda curious what the highway, the, the interstate is gonna be like. But we're fixing to find that out, right guys, huh? Are we fixing to find out what the interstate is going to be like, huh? Okay, we're going back there and go to bed, okay? They just had to come up here and say good morning to y'all. It's 0.2 miles cube to the right on I-465. Alrighty. We're coming into the Indianapolis area. 4.38 in the morning.
continue it's, it's okay everybody we can go look at this lot man you think they could have plotted any better put some salt on here anyway we're in peoria But at least I can see now. We can go. Oh yeah, we can go now. I just hope I don't run out of washer. I may have to stop and get some. Using quite a bit of it. mirrors in that are going to get dirty again but at least it won't be dirt on dirt right I mean let's face the fact I got a 65 mile an hour truck so anything that goes around me especially a big truck he's gonna really mess up my mirrors and my glass again so that's because the stuff is thawing Too far from 
Iowa. And it's 22 degrees out there. North Carolina fly in the truck buzzing around me I, I, I came to roll down some windows we're gonna get it cold in here for a second he gonna wish he didn't come back with me <laughs> freeze his butt <laughs> oh, he gonna wish he stayed in North Carolina we're getting on 280 now where you at, fly? Yeah, it was warm enough in North Carolina. I had a few flies in the truck. I wonder if this chicken coop is open. The last one we were on was open. But they didn't have easy pass. I wonder if this one's got easy pass. I, I certainly hope so. It says it does pre-pass pre sight. Well, being that they already looked at me, they should give me the pre-pass, right?
Uh, just make it white. Uh, foot one. But can you wrap that separately for me? Um, American. There's room in there for my chips. I'm gonna stick these in my pocket here. Oh, I gotta scan at least one. Oh, oh, go ahead. Yep. Okay. Alright. What size drink? Oh, uh, large. Uh, no, we're good. Okay. Where's your windshield wash? I need a couple gallons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What we have left is there's a few orange ones right there where them guys are standing. And over by the door. Yeah, that's that's right. Really? You're running out? Yeah. I'm a little smarter than yeah. white, so. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll see. Iowa 80 running out of Porsche. Okay. I'm filming this, so they're not going to believe this. I don't know. They have some in the other building, but what about low here? Yeah, they need it over here. Well, because you're fueling that, just makes it easy for us. <laughs> right, right. So, yeah. But that'll do it right there. All right, 12.59. All right. Hopefully that's good for below something. Did you yeah, 25. That with the family? Over there, yeah. Let me take it off. I put it on there. Right. As you told me, between the fountain. See that? She did ask me for a receipt, but I said I didn't need one. Okay, 10.68. There you go. Oh, that's okay. I wouldn't even notice it. <laughs> I gotta figure out how to carry out this. Well, I can put this in the bag with some candles. But that'll make it any easier. That'll work, and I can put it right through my arming. Okay, yeah. That'll work. A easier, I guess. Yeah, it, it, it'll work. Thank you, man. Here, I'll let you throw that away. Well, we are in Des Moines, Iowa. There we are.
car move. J here and uh, in Altoon, Iowa. It's just before Des Moines. I think Rudy told me a story one time about he stopped here years ago and had his dad with him. And I guess they didn't treat him very well. And I think this is the same place. <coughs> but I just offloaded just a few miles down the road I only had 44 minutes left so I decided to come here there had quite a bit of snow here up a load in Denison Iowa tomorrow and guess where it's going same place I went in North Carolina you remember to the same place but anyway we're gonna go and get something to eat see what we can show you I guess we'll be back though we'll, we'll get the doggy we'll get Jake and Panda on video but we'll be right back I don't have no rush for it no more Check that out. Uh -huh. I only ate at this place one time before. And uh, if you remember, I told you about this place before. But no restaurant. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to remember where that was. But it was a Max Diner as well. Ooh. Check this out. Now that's a big machine. That's a big game. Well, we'll just go to we'll just go to Burger King. They had no restaurant in there at all whatsoever. Not a bit. But right across the road is a Burger King. <laughs> so we go over there. I hate to do that because I'm staying here, right? Gotta eat, gotta eat. Anyway, I'm gonna run over there real quick. We'll be right back. Well, I'm not sure if you could tell the difference from that far back. I was walking over to the Burger King It's not open. <laughs> it's not open. It's not open because it burnt. Now, I don't know 
exactly what kind of food you all like. But if you stop at uh, Altoona to the Flying J here, they have no restaurant, none at all. So you can, oh come on Panda, get up here, come on. You can expect to eat chicken strips, <laughs> pretty much. I need a Walmart, that's, that's the only reason why I'm not cooking in my truck. But tomorrow, I thought I was gonna pick up a load in Lincoln, but I'm gonna end up going to uh, Denison, Iowa. And you guys been there with me before. Uh, but we need to, we're, we're going over there tomorrow to pick up a load. And it's going, like I said, right back. We're, we, we're going right back to North Carolina. Same place we delivered that one morning. And uh, we're going right back over there. Go ahead. And, uh, but if you're coming to this Lion J at Tuna, there's no food. I mean, unless you just like chicken strips or a hot dog. I, I like hot dogs, don't get me wrong. But I was hoping I can sit down and at first eat me a, a nice steak or something. But uh, the restaurant's closed. The man, there's a sign, well, I, I showed you guys. Management decided, the owner decided to just close it down. So I think they're in the progress of looking for a restaurant. But uh, Flying J, if you're watching this, this is pitiful, man. Every driver who's coming in here, well, like me, I expected to go in and eat supper, right? Come, You can't. And I only walked as far as probably the end of the drive right there. And, I, I, and it looked kind of peculiar because I didn't see no cars parked anywhere. And then the snow drift is right up against the door and I said, no, 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 no. They're not open. So when I went back in, I went back inside. I had a couple chicken strips. And she said, no, they burn out. They got burnt out. But we'll make up for tomorrow because uh, we're going to drop our wagon over there in De at, at Denison. And uh, they have a pizza ranch over there. And uh, we'll probably have a uh, pizza ranch tomorrow night. And they have a Walmart. So I can go in there and get some groceries. And then I can cook again. You know, it, it, it's not like you being home and just jumping in the car and going to the store. It doesn't work that way. And not every Walmart likes us coming into their their establishment with our trucks. So I don't just pull into any Walmart that I see. But uh, with Denison, though, I can bob to over there. And I can go in and get my food. And I've done that before, and they never made any, any uh, scruples. But I don't know if it's going to be as cold tomorrow as it is here. But if, if it's warmer, and we ain't going to hold our breath on that, but if it's warmer, I may fly the drone over there. I might. It all depends on the temperature. Too cold is not good for the battery, right? But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. We're going to close this off. And uh, I want to thank you guys for following. And uh, with that being said, God bless. And we'll talk to you guys on the next one. Until then, later.